we've all used those like voice IVRs that are like super traditional and it's like press one, press two. And yeah, those are pretty fast. There's often just a ton of dead space or even seeing innovations on the, the voice interface of like background audio. You're seeing audio cues, just like letting the user know like, hey, we heard you. There's actually, I, I saw a really interesting interface where um, they had input cues. And so as you were speaking, what the agent would actually do is play keyboard clicking sounds just to let you know that like it's thinking it's actually hearing you. And then even then, like once you stop speaking, the keyboard clicking stops, but you know that it was like, it, it was hearing you. I don't know if any speaking. of these things are actually like innovative on the interface side, right? Cause like really all this is, especially like, and I think maybe putting phone calls aside, right? Cause what all these voice agents on the phone are trying to get to is just get one-to-one -one with yeah. a human. So someone doesn't know that they're talking to yeah, an agent, yeah. right? Cause you don't want to talk to an agent, but I, I don't think that's, like actually being innovative, you're just trying to like, you know, all this background noise and stuff. Like why is background noise even good? Yeah. Right, like you, you're like, and I'm on a call, I'm trying to go to a quiet area. Yeah. So I think, but like moving well, aside It fills that, the space though, right? Like, cause I yeah. think you want to tell the user like, hey, the thing didn't break, you know what I mean? Like if you yeah, have two yeah, seconds yeah, of latency, yeah. you know, maybe that's like a standard API. You don't want the user, especially with Bargin 2 on voice yeah. as an interface, it's like, if you hear two seconds of dead space, the user might start saying other things, which might actually break the bot, right? It might yeah. activate the bargain. I agree with that, but I think that like when, at least when it comes to the topic of like interfaces, I think where the most interesting thought that's happening is, is on the web, yeah. um, is like visual interfaces, yeah. right? Like I think you're very limited with what you can do over all, like audio only.